I had um, a moment this morning where I thought I really wanted to speak at this um, event because I've um, been coming a few times and I've sort of learnt quite a lot and I thought um, I'd hoped to give a presentation today. So I decided this morning that I would just say a little bit about um, what I've been doing. I'm Louise Singh. I work at Forest Research um, with Stephen Bathgate and I'm also halfway through a PhD at Edinburgh University. And um, I was collecting, I wanted to collect data about how people are using a particular forest as my case study forest for my PhD. And I wanted to be able to do a, an offline tablet survey and collect spatial data about where people are going in the forest and what activities they're doing. Uh, so in Glasgow at the last meeting, I found out about Leaflet and uh, OpenStreetMap, and I thought um, that these sounded like um, potentially good tools that I could use. So I found a uh, programmer who helped me to um, put a survey on a tablet that I could then take into the forest and stop people and ask them kind of what they've been doing. So, um, so I won't talk about what they are, but just to, um, I think maybe about half the people were maybe in Glasgow, um, Leaflet and OpenStreetMap, just a, pl a plug for them. Um, so my survey, one of the questions in my survey, uh, what recreational activities are you doing and how long are you spending? And I got people to um, populate in minutes what they were doing and then um, using Leaflet and some downloaded tiles from OpenStreetMap, um, created a sort of zoomable, panable map in the tablet where people could either digitize um, paths or put in points or a polygon or a rectangle and then from a drop-down menu that was um, populated from whichever activities they'd selected in the previous question, they could uh, tell me where they'd been going and so I, with my intention to develop a heat map about um, recreation activity in the forest. Um, and because this is a lightning talk, I literally wasn't going to say anything else other than I've collected the data in GeoJSON format, um, and so I've just sort of highlighted a bit of what I've collected at the moment. And my next stage, really, is um, that I need to take it out of these, all those separate files that it's been stored in and get it into uh, some kind of database, geodatabase, PostGIS or something and then start mapping it. So really, that's kind of all I've got to say at the moment about what I've been doing. Hopefully, maybe at the next one, I can <laughs> say about what I did with it. But if anybody, anyone's got any advice for me about taking GeoJSON, using it, getting it into QGIS, um, I'd be really interested and grateful. That's all. Thanks.